Welcome back guys. Did you ever thought you want to get rid of this system.set property in Selenium? Then this is the only video you need to watch. If you don't want to download the latest versions of the drivers, Chrome drivers or Edge drivers for the latest browser versions, you know that feels very pathetic to do again and again setting the path to the exe file downloading again and again. As a fresher it is very complicated to set the environment. but Thankfully to the Selenium guys, they have uh, added this feature, which is very helpful for everyone, even the freshers. The first step you need to is add the dependency of Selenium. Go to the, hit the URL, Maven dependency or Maven repository. Just type Selenium. Enter. Go to Selenium Java. You can download any dependency after 4.6.0 or 4.6.0 itself so you can download anyone tomorrow it can be anything here right now it's 4.10.0 tomorrow it can be anything so don't bother about that go to the ide here i am using eclipse let me just show you my pom.xml file i am using the 4.9.0 selenium version it doesn't matter unless it's 4.6.0 or greater the first step we are going to do is web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver this is the first step i hope i don't need to explain this because every automation tester don't knows this now driver dot manage let's uh maximize the window first driver dot get now we'll hit the url i think let's go with netflix here i'm copying the url and pasting it here also, I want to print what I want to print. I want to print the title driver dot get title. I'm printing this. Let's execute this script. Wonderful. The script is executed. We got rid of the system dot set property and our script is running successfully. But there's one question. Tomorrow it can be an interview question for you, but it's very important. How did the script know where the path to the Chrome driver exe file is? We did not add any path manually. There is nothing like that here. So to do that, we have a special feature or a new feature in Selenium that is called Selenium Manager. I consider it a magic tool that makes it very easy to use Selenium. You don't have to worry about the complicated configurations or the exe files. It's it's very helpful for the beginners to get rid of setting the environment and start executing the test. So we want if we want to get the path to the Chrome driver that was downloaded, we can use Selenium Manager dot get instance dot get driver path. And inside driver path, not inside, but get driver path. If we go in inside the function, we it has an argument called capabilities, right? So we need to add an argument. Before that, we have to use Chrome options. Now, why do we need to use Chrome options? I'll tell you. Chrome options. Chrome options is nothing, but it is a class which is used to manipulate the various properties of the browser what does that mean for example you want your script to run in an incognito mode so if you execute the script it will not run in an incognito mode but a new window right but with the help of this chrome options we can execute our script in incognito mode we can get the cookies so we can get multiple things done from this chrome options because it's used to manipulate the properties of the Chrome browser or the Chrome driver so that's why we are using because we are manipulating something here we are not downloading any uh, Chrome driver exe file manually we can pass pass this Chrome options here and if we want to store we want to store get the path so we can use string path and we can like print this path the earlier script we executed nothing is shown as a path here right so let's execute the script again mm -hmm. 
the script is executed it navigated to netflix but the important thing here is we got the path where the chrome driver exe file is right so if we want to check let's copy this path go to the file explorer just paste the path here you can see our chrome driver is here in our local pc so everything is done by default one additional step we can do here is if we want to use the chrome uh, the edge browser if we are not using the chrome browser right so what we can do is first let's duplicate this and comment this out we can use but here it's edge driver and we did not change anything we are getting the instance and here we can use the edge options class right so yeah let's execute this wonderful we have a uh, edge browser open right wonderful let's go to the script again it automatically downloaded the edge browser also so here's the path let's hit the path again let's copy it to win 64 in win 64 we have this folder and here inside the edge driver is present i hope guys this video was very helpful thank you so much